Millions more dollars to help reduce wildfire risk and support the mental health of firefighters across the nation. It's coming from the president's bipartisan infrastructure bill and the Secretary of Interior at NIFSI in Boise today to announce. CBS2 has team coverage of Deb Holland's visit, starting with our Vasily Varlamos. Vasily? The National Interagency Fire Center plays a critical role during fire season, not just for Idaho, but the entire nation. Secretary of the Interior Deb Howland spoke at NIFSI today about funding the fight against wildfires across the country. I offer a tremendous thank you to our entire federal firefighting workforce, including the dedicated firefighters, scientists, and first responders for everything that they do to keep our communities and our families safe. Okay, copy that. During today's visit, the secretary announced President Joe Biden's infrastructure law will provide $103 million to reduce wildfire risk. This includes $80 million for the strategic removal of potential wildfire hazards, $19 million to support post-wildfire landscape recovery, and $3 million to support climate-related research. Fire officials say there's no longer a fire season, but a fire year, because fires happen so often. That means that we have to do the hard work of reducing fire risk and recovering after fires at the same time that we're responding to fires. To put the need for these resources into perspective already this year, wildland firefighters responded to over 30,000 fires across the U.S. Jeff Rupert, director of the Department of the Interior's Wildland Fire Office, says they responded to over 100 fires on Thursday alone. Hotter, drier conditions cause more extreme fire behavior, and the increased frequency of fires in urban areas impacts more homes, businesses, and communities each and every year. Secretary Holland says all agencies under the Department of the Interior are working together to ensure our ecosystems are strong and to hopefully get through each fire year better and more effectively. Live in studio, Vasily Varlamos, CBS2 News.